Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is our bus. bus. The next phase I'm going to be working on is the kitchen doors. I hadn't skinned them yet or finished them because we weren't exactly sure how the countertop was going to go. Originally we were going to put the top down bolt and the bottom bolt, but I think we don't need that now because I think we're just going to do the bolt on top and then a pull handle here and that should hold it closed enough. And then I'll be able to pull on this handle while locking that in. And then same thing over here, pull on the handle pull on this handle and then lock that in. So I need a good grip on both of these and then skin this and then do the interior uh, trim like we did on the other ones. Solid, all right. So it snapped off the tips of the screws previously. Turns out there's an aluminum plate behind the fiberglass. So I moved the holes over, drilled a slightly bigger hole, and hopefully this time it's gonna get in there correctly. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Right there. is solid. I like it, very nice. So then we just need to paint this, clean up the edges, add some trim. Welcome back. This week we're going to be working on the kitchen electrical. So it'll be sockets, USB, um, pump powers, all those sorts of things. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm working on trying to figure out how we want to do our electrical. We have a bunch of stuff that we've collected over time and my dad was able to donate a bunch of sockets, covers, and some Romex wire, which is really good. We appreciate that. And then I'm trying to figure out where to place the plugs and everything for where we want to have things plug in to, trying to plan ahead, of course. So we got a couple different sockets that are going in, and then we've got the timer for the water heater. So I have to run the wires into the timer, and then that has a timered socket, and then that connects out to the water heater, because we only want to run it for like 20 minutes at a time. We don't want it on automatic to run all the time. And then I'll have to fish the wire through the wire conduit down here. This conduit runs across the floor and it's got fish lines in there so that we can run the Romex over to where the eventual inverter is going to go. So lots of planning and then we'll have to go get parts and install everything. Oh no, <laughs> there's supposed to be a slot here. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Ah. One socket start to finish. So that went really well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.